Introduction to Networking A computer network is a group of computers which are connected together by a communication media and which communicate with one another for sharing resources that is, files, printers, modem, fax machines, application software like MS Office from any location of the network. Take for example, a small office where a number of users require access to the common information. As all user computers are connected via a network, types of networking. Networking is categorized into two ways, according to connectivity and according to resource sharing. Click on the above links. According to connectivity. According to connectivity, networking can be divided into three categories. Local Area Network LAN, Metropolitan Area Network MAN, Wide Area Network WAN. Click on links to view the details. Local Area Network LAN. A LAN is a computer network that spans a relatively small area. Most LANs are confined to a single building or group of buildings. However, one LAN can be connected to other LANs over any distance via telephone lines and radio waves. Each computer in a LAN has its own CPU with which it executes programs, but it is also able to access data and devices anywhere on the LAN and can communicate with each other. LANs are capable of transmitting data at very fast rates, much faster than data can be transmitted over a telephone line, but the number of computers and distances are limited. Traditional LANs run at a speed of 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps. Today, speed has been increased and operates at up to 10 Gbps. Now we have to know what are the characteristics by which one LAN can be differentiated from the other. First is topology, the geometric arrangement of devices on the network. For example, devices can be arranged in a ring or in a straight line. The second is protocols, which is nothing but the rules and encoding specifications for sending data. Another is media through which devices can be connected with each other like twisted pair wire, coaxial cables or fiber optic cables. Some networks do without connecting media altogether, communicating instead via radio waves. Metropolitan Area Network MAN A metropolitan area network MAN is a network that interconnects users with computer resources in a geographic area larger than that covered by even a large local area network LAN but smaller than the area covered by a wide area network WAN. A metropolitan area network is designed for a town or city. MANs are usually characterized by very high speed connections using fiber optical cable or other digital media. It may be a single network such as a cable television network or it may be a means of connecting a number of LANs into a large network so that resources may be shared LAN to LAN as well as device to device. For example, a company can use a MAN to connect the LANs in all of its offices through a city. Transmission rate is 200 Mbps or faster over distances of up to 75 kilometers. Wide Area Network WAN A WAN spans a large geographical area, often country or countries. Typically, a WAN consists of two or more LANs. Computers connected to a wide area network are often connected through public networks such as the telephone system and also connected through leased lines or satellites. Transmission rates are typically 2 Mbps, 34 Mbps, 45 Mbps, 155 Mbps, 625 Mbps or sometimes considerably more. 
The main purpose of a WAN is to provide reliable, fast and safe communication between two or more places with low delays and at low prices. WANs enable an organization to have one integral network between all its departments and offices, even if they are not all in the same building or city. Numerous WANs have been constructed, including public packet networks, large corporate networks, military networks, banking networks, stock brokerage networks, and airline reservation networks. The best example of WAN is Internet. There are some different WAN technologies. These are Basic WANs, Packet Switched WANs, New Technologies WANs. Click on links to view the different WAN technologies. Basic WANs the basic WAN service is a leased line. A leased line is a point-to-point -point connection between two places, implemented by different transmission media, usually through PSTN trunks, which creates a link between the nodes. An organization whose networks are based on such lines has to connect each office with one line. That means that each office is connected to as many lines as the number of offices it is connected to. These lines are usually point-to-point -point digital lines which are implemented by creating a permanent channel with known bandwidth between the two nodes and transferring the data by a dedicated digital network which enables automatic management on the line. Packet Switched WANs The principle in Packet Switched Data Network PSDN, is that the data between the nodes is transferred in small packets. This principle enables the PSDN to allow one node to be connected to more than one other node through one physical connection. That way, a fully connected network between several nodes can be obtained by connecting each node to one physical link as shown in the figure below. Another advantage for packet switching was the efficient use of resources by sharing the network bandwidth among the users instead of dividing. The first communication packet switch networks was based on the X.25 packet switching protocol which provides cheaper communication. In X.25 networks, bandwidth is released at the end of the connection or when no data was transmitted. Another advantage of X.25 is that it allows easy implementation of international connections enabling organizations to be connected to data centers and services throughout the world. Today, X.25 transfer rates are considered to be very low and this service is replaced with new services today. New Technologies WANs Two main services are popular